friends, welcome back to my channel Chemistry Tutorial. Today we are going to start Electrochemistry. So, before that, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get the notifications when I upload a new video. Second interesting experiment for determining the transport number is moving boundary method. And this is the principle of the moving boundary method. That is, it is based on the measurement of rate of migration of the ionic species. There we related the concentration and the speed of the ionic species moving away from a particular electron. Here we consider only the rate of the migration of one or both the ionic species of the electrolyte that is cation or anion or both away from the similarly charged electron. That is the movement of an anion away from the cathode and uh, the movement of a cation away from the anode. So now let us look into the apparatus of the moving boundary method. So this is the apparatus of the moving boundary method. And here you can see a vertical uh, tube there. Here you can see another tube and the bottom there is another compartment for electrolyte. So here we use an indicator electrode. Now we are going to calculate the transport number of Na plus in NaCl. So let us consider this as an example. So for this we, uh, we load the NaCl electrolyte in this vertical tube at this particular section. And we add the indicator electrode in the anode. So the indicator electrode must have a cation which must be moving slower than that of the electrolyte we have taken for study. So that is, we can take lithium chloride or cadmium chloride. So that the lithium or cadmium 2 plus will be slower than the Na plus ion. The motion of those ions will be slower than that of the Na plus ion. And it should have a common ion. That is here we have NaCl. Here you see LaCl and CdCl2. So chlorine is common. And we also take another electrolyte above that and that acts as the cathodic compartment and that is acetic sodium acetate. So we should take a comparatively slow cation because if it moves very fast the boundary cannot be distinguished and it will mix together so that we cannot interpret the movement of the boundary. So here our main principle is the movement of the boundary. Here we use cadmium as the anode and platinum as the cathode. And the vertical tube has a cross section of a centimeter cube. And uh, the arrangement is in such a way that cadmium chloride and above that sodium chloride and above that acetic, sodium acetate. So in between all these we can see a small boundary. And when electricity is passed there will be a movement in the boundary. And that's, that's how we will calculate the speed or the rate of the movement. Now we will go to the working of this moving boundary method. So first after setting up the apparatus, we will pass the current, constant current for about 5 to 6 hours and the electrolysis will occur inside and uh, slowly the sodium plus that is NaCl will gradually move upwards and cadmium chloride follows it and similarly above that the sodium acetate will also move upwards. So here occurs a shift in the boundary that is previously the boundary was here and it moved a little bit upwards. So, so we represent the distance as x and the distance moved above as y. And this distance helps to calculate the transport number for the cation and this distance helps the helps to calculate the transport number for the anion that is Cl minus and X will help to calculate the Na plus transport number. So after this 5 to 6 hours we should note the time exactly and the distance moved by this boundary that is X and Y. Using this we are going to calculate the transport number. So for calculation according to this method there is a formula for T plus that is for the cation we say it as F A X C by I T. Here F is Faraday, A is the cross section of this vertical tube and X is the distance moved by the boundary and C is the concentration and I is current passed and the amount of current passed and for the time passed and X is the boundary length as I said before and for T minus we can say instead of this X we will say Y. 
So this is for CR in this case and this is for NA plus in this particular example. And also we can say in other terms only using X and Y that is T plus will be equal to X by X plus Y and Y by X plus Y. So here we are calculating only the rate of the movement of this boundary or rate of movement of that particular ion that is Na plus moves away from this positive. So this is the moving boundary method. So the last method we are going to discuss for determining the transport number is the from ionic mobility. So from the ionic mobility or the conductance of a particular ion will be proportional to speed of the ion. This is the principle for this method. And the conductance is given by lambda, right? So for a cation lambda plus, it is proportional to the speed of that ion u plus. And for the contents of an anion lambda minus is proportional to the speed of that ion u minus. To remove the proportionality, we, re we introduce a constant called proportionality constant k. That is lambda plus is equal to k into u plus and lambda minus is equal to k into u minus. Now we know that the transport number for a cation is u plus by u plus plus u minus. That is the speed of the cation by the total speed. So replacing this u plus with 1 by k into lambda plus. We are arranging this, you get u plus value and from here you get the u minus value, substituting those here. So first consider the cation. So 1 by k into lambda plus, 1 by k is taken as common and lambda plus plus lambda minus. So for t plus you can write lambda plus by lambda plus plus lambda minus, that is these two get cancelled. And uh, we know that according to Kohlroche's law, lambda plus plus lambda minus, that is the conductance of the cation and the anion together is equal to the infinite conductance, that is lambda infinity. So we can write the transport number T plus by using conductivity values as follows, that is T plus is lambda plus by lambda infinity and T minus is lambda minus by lambda infinity. Using this equations, we can calculate the transport numbers from the conductance or the ionic mobility. Hope you guys understood all the topics and if you like the video please give a thumbs up and share to all your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel chemistry tutorial. More videos are awaiting for you so please click the notification button that is the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So see you all in the next video. Thank you.